Welcome to the next video in the flight instrument series. In this video, we will look at the airspeed indicator and how it works. As always, the video is designed for beginners and those with general interest, and is not meant to contain in-depth descriptions. The airspeed indicator, ASI, is a flight instrument that indicates the airspeed of an aircraft, usually in knots. The ASI measures the pressure differential between static pressure from the static port, and total pressure from the pitot tube. This difference in pressure is registered with the ASI pointer on the face of the instrument. Modern airliners have advanced computers and displays to present airspeed, so in this video we will just look at indicators you may see in a light aircraft. This will give the basics of how it works. The ASI has standard color-coded markings to indicate safe operation within the limitations of the aircraft. At a glance, the pilot can determine a recommended speed, or if speed adjustments are needed. Single and multi-engine aircraft have common markings. For instance, the green arc indicates the normal operating range of the aircraft. The white arc indicates the flap operating range used for approaches and landings. The yellow arc cautions that flight should be conducted in this range only in smooth air, while the red line at the top of the yellow arc indicates damage or structural failure may result at higher speeds. The ASI in multi-engine aircraft includes two additional radial markings, one red and one blue, associated with potential engine failure. The radial red line near the bottom of the green arc indicates the minimum indicated airspeed at which the aircraft can be controlled with one engine inoperative. The radial blue line indicates the speed for best rate of climb with one engine inoperative. The ASI is the only flight instrument that uses both the static system and the pitot system. The static pressure is obtained through a static port. The static port is most often a flush-mounted hole on the fuselage of an aircraft, and is located where it can access the air pressure in a relatively undisturbed area. The pitot pressure is obtained from the pitot tube. The pitot pressure is a measure of ram air pressure, or the air pressure created by the air ramming into the tube, which is also called total pressure. The pitot tube is most often located on the wing or front section of an aircraft, facing forward, where its opening is exposed to the relative airflow. Static pressure, from the static port, enters the ASI case, while total pressure from the pitot tube, enters and flexes the diaphragm, which is connected to the ASI pointer via mechanical linkage. The pressures are equal when the aircraft is stationary on the ground, and hence shows a reading of zero. When the aircraft is moving forward, air entering from the pitot tube is at a greater pressure than the static line, which flexes the diaphragm, which in turn moves the pointer. As the airspeed increases, the total pressure increases, which in turn expands the diaphragm, which turns the pointer to the higher speed. Conversely, as the airspeed decreases, the total pressure decreases, which in turn contracts the diaphragm, which turns the pointer to the lower speed. The ASI is checked before takeoff for a zero reading, and during takeoff that it is increasing appropriately. If the pitot tube and static sources are not regularly checked, or covers are left on the pitot tube or static source, errors in the airspeed indication will occur. The pitot tube may become blocked, because of insects, dirt, or failure to remove the pitot cover. A pitot blockage will prevent ram air from entering the system. If the pitot opening is blocked, but the drain hole is open, the system pressure will drop to ambient pressure, and the ASI pointer will drop to a zero reading. If both the opening and drain holes are blocked, the ASI will not indicate any change in airspeed. 
However, the ASI pointer will show altitude changes as the associated static pressure changes. Effectively, the ASI becomes an altimeter. If both the pitot tube and the static system are blocked, the ASI pointer will read zero, as both pressures will become equal, as they are when stationary on the ground. If the static ports are blocked but the pitot tube remains open, the ASI will operate, but inaccurately. In this video we discussed the airspeed indicator. We discussed the basic markings on the indicator, how it works, and possible faults caused by blockages. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.